Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. With me, Bring It Dawn. Off camera, I did change the uh, difficulty to challenging. Because that's what I played the main cam the main campaign on. I cannot talk this morning. And, um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Start exploring. Or not. This once quiet glade in the heart of the plains of Dunsward now resembles a low rocky shore. Braced for the crash of a menacing wave. A team of centaurs tower above a handful of people, scraping the ground and rising through their hind legs from time to time. They seem nearly ready to trample their frightened prey into the mud. Uh... Vetislava? Noticing your party, a woman in simple peasant clothes breaks away from the group and throws herself at Mygar's feet. Your Grace, Baron Varn, our prayers have been answered. We're the villagers of Old Stump. We wanted to build a farm in these lands, but we barely started digging the cellar when these monsters appeared. Centaur Patrol Leader. A muscular centaur with black hide and dark hair leans forward, thrusting out his chest and nearly trampling the woman. How louder. The more of you kin you call forth, the fewer will have to root out from, from their holes. My girl raises his hand in a powerful gesture, drawing everyone's attention. What is it you want from these people? What do we want, two-legged? You ask this after everything your kin have done? You come to this land uninvited, dig up the ancient graves and attack us, the guardians of the land. What do we want? We want to clean the world of the dirt you spread. Examine the centaur's gear. By the signs and patterns on their weapons and clothes, you recognize them as belonging to the Nomen tribe, a warlike clan of centaurs that long ago settled in these lands. In ages past, the tribe fought back the Taldans, who tried to settle the region, and were almost completely wiped out. The Nomen haven't shown themselves for a long time, but they hardly hold any warm feelings toward you. I look closer at the symbols the centaurs are wearing. All the centaurs have pendants or signs depicting the moon, the symbol of Desna in her aspect known as the Mother Moon. Or as a mother moon. Uh, be easy, brave protector of the Nomen tribe. I know that you share no bonds of friendship with the two-legged, but we are not Taldans. We are not the invaders who you once fought and killed. Ah, uh, and more the pity we are not Taldans. At least they knew how a ruler should behave on territory he plans to continue calling his own. Easy, Cephal. Duval is right. I've always thought it a good sign when hostile parties begin with conversation, rather than an arrow in the face. If you spend your time insulting a stranger, then we will surely spend a moment more to, then you will surely spend a moment more to explain in detail what my race and my subjects might have done to offend you. What have we here? A two-legged with reason and dignity. Not like these others. They are deaf to our warnings. The centaur nods at the settlers. Fine, I will tell you. I use the words of the ancient songs and of a core silver fire, who sees far, far further than any of your sages and rulers. We're the guardians of this land, and it is imbued with evil. The centaur speaks in a measured, melodic voice, carefully recited, reciting a sacred teaching. Evil sleeps here, under each burial mound, under each obelisk with one-eyed skulls. And you two-legged, dig this ground like moles, stealing secret treasures from ancient graves and tempting their dread magic. You will ruin all, the one who sleeps must continue his slumber, the caged one must remain behind bolt and bar. Do you understand, two-legged one? I'm giving you a chance to take this rabble and leave. Go away from the city of hollow eyes, away from the burial mounds. Away from the obelisk and the other Cyclops ruins. If you turn away from the past, the Nomen tribe will leave you in peace. Well, that's just wonderful. By rough estimate, he just demanded that we relinquish two-thirds of the barony, including the most fertile fields and mines. Only the barren rocks and the mountains are free from Cyclops ruins. By any measure, we are newcomers to this land. If we want to remain here, we'll have to respect the wishes and customs of those who lived here long before us. My guard nods. Listen, stranger, we cannot simply leave this land, but if your tribe will stop threatening the settlers, I will forbid them from entering the Cyclops' tombs. My soldiers will patrol the area and punish any trespassers. I would also like to meet the chiefs of your tribe. We should learn to live side by side. I would also like to learn more about the evil that sleeps here. Uh, the Nomen tribe is led by warrior priestess Ekora Silverfire. The centaur speaks boldly, then frowns. I do not believe a word you say, human, but I will give you a chance. If the two-legged keep their noses out of the tombs, then we will let them remain. Let them plant their orchards and build their homes. But if a single one breaks our agreement, there will be trouble. You have been warned. Hunters, follow me. Alright, see you later. The moment the centaurs have left, Cephal sheds his nonchalant mask and turns angrily to Mygar. What were you thinking? These creatures are unpredictable savages, and from what we hear, fanatics as well. As soon as the, a trade caravan unknowingly stops at a wind-worn cyclops steel or stell, 
or children run inside a tomb when playing hide and seek, they will return and bring carnage with them. My friend, you can only make deals with equals, with those who think as you do. But not with half humans who attack villagers because they're primeval, primeval fables. And you'd prefer to slaughter them all and be done with it? Until we discover their motives and learn their locations and numbers, wouldn't you think it wiser to proceed with caution? This doesn't sound like you, old friend. You would execute a small patrol on a whim to watch all of Varnhold burn tomorrow. No, we must learn what we can of their motives and determine the need for an armistice. But do not imagine me blind to menace, blind to the menace these creatures pose to our villages. I'll take any steps necessary to protect them, but that does not include slaughtering an entire patrol, or ultimately a whole tribe, simply because centaurs lack all skill at diplomacy. Your Grace, about the tombs. Our younglings did go there, to that huge stone vault sticking out of the ground to the south. My guard turns pale. When? Darn it. I only just promised the centaurs that none of us would set foot in the tombs. If they spot those fools poking around, there will be trouble. General, Regent, let us go to that huge stone vault. Alright, cool. We, uh... Got a quest. Let's map out the, uh... Immediate area. I might rest so I can get some uh some of my spells back. I forgot what the it is R. Talk to her about anything? I am prepared. Nope. Never hesitate. Looks like I failed. Can you imagine? Oh, I failed to pick it. Um, screw that. I have an auto save. Will be failing again, that's for sure. Never hesitate. Well, that there we go. Easy. Oh yeah, I need to memorize the uh, things that we have. All according to plan. Sweet. Uh oh. Nice to have put Time's my guy up waiting. front. Actually, what you summon, it? uh. Here. A little concerned about the uh Together we stand. Uh, let's do this. All I'll do is I'll put this on him. And uh I'll do poison for resistance as well because it is a mana core after all. Let's get a haste and then we'll go get this guy. I am propelled. Oh, carve my name onto your flesh. All right, let's get uh some of these magic missiles On going. Knees. On that, we should be okay here. Believe in yourself. Ah, <laughs> Um, could try that, I guess. I'll take some pretty good damage there. Not great. Oh, my blessed everyone off. Should probably cast that. Uh, 
I never put Divine Troth on him uh, this time around. That's not good. Oh, where are you going, bud? Ah, we got him. Sucker. I know what to do. Now he's in a little rough shape. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, chain shirt. Chain shirt plus two. Which is medium. No, it's light. Okay. Only max dexterity of four, though. Um, I mean, he only has five anyway. Is that it gives Moan more armor class, so that's what we'll so we'll give him. In due time. All right, well, that's fun. Another exit to the map. That is not far. Injured dragon. This doesn't sound good. Cause I'm like, we're level six. I'm not. I don't think we're ready to fight a dragon. Ready when uh, let's you do a quick are. save. All right. As it should be. I'm assuming we can talk to the dragon. That's what I'm gonna hope for. Dragon towers over you like a giant rock. His scales are blue to rival the sky, and the neck proudly arches. The one wing sticks out at a strange angle, and his sides are torn and ragged, covered in acid burns. Oh, guests, please come closer, don't fear. We can help each other. The dragon utters the words with obvious effort, looking cautiously around. Uh, greetings to you too, sir polite dragon. What ill fate... <laughs> what ill bra fate brings you to my dominions? Please bear my buntless human... Bluntless human... But for someone like me, your dominions are just a word. I dash through the sky, cutting across the dominions of princelings and kinglet every moment. And over my lifetime, your borders will change 200 times, and then 200 more. The dragon snorts loudly, the closest he can come to laughter, given his condition. A valid point. Then please bear my bluntness... Blunt... Why can't I say this word? Bluntness as well. Most rulers wouldn't want an unknown dragon in their dominions. Especially a blue one like you. Your kind is not known for its kindness. A polite way to say that we are usually that we usually exterminate and rob your kin. The dragon snorts out another laugh. I'd be happy to spare you my presence, but I am unable. Do you see what has happened to my wing? Only my stubbornness got me over the mountains, but it won't take me any further. My wounds are painful. The acid continues to burn, and the magic stings and stings. Darn if Ithiliac is not above robbing and devouring other dragons. But I escaped, and I'll be healed before she finds me again. All I need is an artifact from the stash here, hidden under these slabs. Uh, bring me its wholesome magic, and I will repay you. And yes, I'll take myself far away from here. Nagar turns to you and Cephal. What do you say? To trust a dragon and an evil one at that, he will attack us as soon as we help him heal. Uh, I am not so opinionated about this creature's ability to honor his word. But truth be told, I simply cannot see any reason to let him go, and certainly no reason to give away a precious artifact. Forgive me, Sir Polite Dragon, but I don't trust you. I'll sleep better at night knowing that you that you won't come back one day to rob my lands and kill my people. Stand with me. You shall pay. Well, this might not go superb. No quarter. But it might also be okay, so we'll see. Um We'll try slowing him first. It says he's injured, so we might be okay. He's blue, so maybe lightning. That's not good. So he is currently what? Frightened for a minute. Well, that's not super good. Don't go too far, bud. 
the attack commands. There we go. You get so many attacks per round. If I was tanking, I think it'd be okay. Oh, we got it. Alright, well. <clears throat> Bracers of Deflection. Plus two deflection bonus to armor class and ability to cast a shield spell twice a day like a fifth level wizard. Sure. In due time. All right, I'm gonna rest again. I know it's not super exciting, but uh, I think that's what we I need to do. Successful in my search. A short sword and a cloak. Just a regular old sapphire ring. Cloak with a lion. What do you do? This cloak gives this wearer plus three resistance bonus on all saving throws. If the wearer is lawful, good. This bonus is increased to plus five. If the wearer is a paladin, they gain an ability to spend one use of the evil smite or smite evil ability to grant all allies in the range of 20 feet immunity to fear effects for the number of rounds equal to the... Okay, well, we'll just give it to the paladin. No reason not to. And I found a short sword plus one. I think he uses short swords. It's a keen short sword plus one, so there you go, bud. It's a little better, and uh... all according to plan. I wonder what would have happened if we did uh, help the dragon. I like fighting dragons, so if I get the opportunity to fight a dragon, I'm probably going to take it. Oh, we're heavy. Okay. I guess we still have a lot of strength. Kind of annoying. Um, I don't want to walk everywhere slowly, so let's get rid of some of this crap. This is not worth very much, and I don't like uh, having to walk everywhere. Follow my lead. All right, I like what I just the heard. And victory. Oh, hey, look, we're under attack. Fight me. Oh, yeah, the vine troth. And, um,. Oh boy. On your knees. So we'll get that going. He should be okay anyway. Uh, I will cast slow with him. Oh, he's not in a good spot. Why is he right there? That's not good. Oh yeah, we're probably not going to win this in the first- oh, maybe. Actually, yeah, we might have this. This should do it. Why is he moving forward? Attack! Calm down. Not dead yet. Uh -oh. 
Wow, the paladin took him out by himself. Oh, well, sweet. We all made it. Alright, this is not going super well. I gotta rest again. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, do they have any special roles? Set traps and set alarm. Yeah, we'll do that. Defeat is not an option. I am sorry to disappoint you, friend. Let's try this again. All right, I got some Constitution back, which is always a treat. We should move. Divine Troth on him, of course, because he's going to be my actual tank. I could put it on my Gar as well, I think, and that would be fine. Oh boy, I don't know what this is all about. Let's ignore it for now. We'll come back to it. I guess I can cast uh, that because it lasts so long. Okay. Uh, we'll see if there's anything we can read about this puzzle real quick and see if we can that figure is it not out. Far. You shall pay. Spare me the details. No quarter. Fortune favors the bold. No mistakes. They will never break us. <laughs> Hey everybody, that darn leave is just awful. There we go. My skills are absolute. All right, let's look into this puzzle. I don't think there's anything to read. It's all active. I'll activate now. To, uh, no inspect. Okay, so there's a specific pattern. So I'm assuming it's going to stay on if uh, it's the right pattern, right? Alright, so it looks like that's the right first one. Oh, that one has an empty socket. The heavy impact marks on the stone surface. Someone recently pried something out of here. Okay, so once we find the crystal, I'll come back here. Well, there's a reason to try and uh, mess with it now if we can't. Is there a way for me to get inside this building? Or up on top? Doesn't look like it. All according to plan. In due time. Wonder if this is the ruin that the uh, the centaurs warned us. Of. Yeah, the centaurs up there. Attack! Ah, yet another obstacle. Ah! Should help with the uh, skeletons. Yeah. Oh, 
should be okay here. Maybe. Unavailable. Oh, he's unconscious, that's why. Die this easy. Um I should be hasted. I'm playing very poorly. I'm trying to use this game again. Oh wow. Okay, well he died. Alright. Oops. No, 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 no. There we go. Alright, so now it's waiting for us now. We can just uh haste up when we get over there to fight those guys. All according to plan. Really, what I need to do is. Please get to the point. I will not be more sentence. No mistakes. In due time. Ready for anything. Yeah, this should work. That's how you're supposed to be casting uh, slow. There we go. It's got much better now. The buffs. I shall not alter. Forgive me for this failure. All right. Um. Yeah, drop all this stuff. All right. Need a bobito. Far. All right. Next episode, we will uh, see what's going on here. We still have more to explore, but we'll actually in the next episode we might explore more instead, and then go that way. Because so far the DLC seems very linear. It's kind of like uh, pushing me in a certain direction. As it should. So be. I want to uh, want to finish exploring first. Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, no, let's, let's let's get into one more fight. I don't need to call it here yet. This should do it. Spare me the details. I'm here. Time's not waiting. Enemy approaching. Oh, there's two of them. Great. Paste everybody up, and then, uh, slaughter these guys. Oh, I died. Wow. All according to plan. Let us not hesitate. I mean, I guess acid would be. Let's do a blast and get in here. Try it one more time, and then if I don't succeed, I'll just call it an episode. Enemy approaching. Ha! Keep the 
Hang in there, bud. On your knees. Could this happen? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, these guys are awful. Oh yeah, no, this is over. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call the episode here, and the next one uh, I might rest again, get all my spells back, rebuff up. I'm struggling a bit, but it's fine. I'm going from Temple of Elemental Evil back to this game, so it's understandable. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope to see y'all in the next episode.